Hey everyone, it's that time again. Yes, time for another rant. This is a new video series I'm thinking about doing in which I find something that is annoying me. Make a quick, short video about it, stick it up on YouTube for you lot to see and yeah, we'll see what happens. So here we go. Today, it, the video is about accident injury lawyers. Well, more to the point actually, accident injury lawyer adverts. Oh my god, we are getting overloaded with them. Oh jeez. Now, the thing is, these... I feel wrong calling them lawyers almost. Ambulance chasers. Um, I can understand that potentially, even though I don't necessarily see it, that there is possibly a place for them. Hopefully in the hell. <laughs> but I mean, that's another matter altogether. I can see, you know... Someone's had an accident, they can't work and there's loss of earnings, stuff like that needs to be covered. Yes, I can possibly see if there is a genuine reason for that accident and cause of blame and all that. But that's, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's litigation, that's um, compensation culture and all that kind of stuff. That's a whole different debate. This is purely about the stupid, idiotic, annoying adverts that... Oh, when was it? Saturday, I think it was. Saturday morning, I was watching something on TV. In one ad break, there was seven adverts. Okay, seven adverts in one ad break. Out of those seven adverts, there was five adverts for accident injury lawyers. Three of them for the same blooming company. The other two adverts, one was from um, some bingo site, one was an online casino, but that's from there. Still, five adverts, and they're all as stupid as each other. Whether it's the, which one is it? Accident injury helpline with Joe Pasquale coming down and going, I've had an accident. Well, so what? <laughs> okay, you've had an accident. Go get yourself better. There we go. <laughs> His voice is starting to get a bit like, Ugh. but yeah. And then you've got the other ones like, is it? There's one other company, I'm getting confused, they're all coming to mangle together. But there's one with the the guy who's had a check come through, who's off work, injured, he's suddenly there dancing down the street. You seriously must be that injured then, that if you're dancing down the blooming street. Oh my god. What happened to the stupid adverts? You know, fun adverts, things like the Cadbury's Gorilla. Oh, that was a brilliant advert, you know? Cadbury's Gorilla doing Phil Collins, you know? That was awesome. Now, it just seems like whenever you see an ad break, it's either going to be for a casino, an online casino, uh, a bingo site, which basically is just a pay-to-chat chat room for uh, women mainly. I'm not trying to sound sexist, I understand there may be men that use these services as well. But they're predominantly aimed at women. You can see it from the adverts. And then it's just, I say, accident injury. Oh. The other day, the other week, I was ill. Okay, I had to have a day off work because I was ill. It was unavoidable. I, it's quite rare for me to actually get ill, to be honest. But anyway, I was ill. And so I got to see the joys that is UK Daytime TV. Oh dear God. I don't actually remember the programs I watched. All I remember is accidents, injury, lawyer, compensation claims. It's not your fault that you fell over in those shoes and all kind of stuff adverts. That's all I remember from it because there was just so much of it. Please. Cut it back, TV channels, ITV, and all the other channels, ITV, Channel 4, Sky, Virgin, all your channels, commercial channels, cut it back. I understand you may earn a lot of money from these adverts. That's totally understandable. Yeah, that's where you get your funding to run. But there's got to be a point where you turn around and go, okay, we're putting too many of these out. Seriously. Just cut it back, okay? And these adverts, be less. 
blooming stupid and annoying. Way less of it. You know, having someone on screen going, right, have you had an accident that wasn't your fault? Okay, contact this company with the number that's here or web address here or whatever uh, to see if you have a right for a claim. Fine. Fair enough, information's over. I haven't had an accident, so I can ignore it. Don't be there with a blooming plasticine dog going, I had an accident, I want the money, to the big guy, and the big guy goes, oh, go away. Or the, to say, the stupid dancy guy down the street. Or the, the classic one of the, the, the one that showed accidents, and the, the guy was fitting a CCTV system. And his work supplied him with an incorrect type of ladder. Right. You would have picked the tools, no doubt. Surely it was your fault in a way, because you seen that they gave you this wooden ladder. If you had a ladder that didn't have a bottom support, you would perhaps turn around to someone and go, would you mind just holding the bottom of this ladder? Or take someone onto the site with you to hold the bottom of the ladder? Please, before we all lose our sanity, let's put an end to these goddamn adverts. Until next time, see you people.